boys and girls in our past few lessons we have been looking at the rules for using am is and are in sentences so we always say i am we always say he is we always say she is and we always say it is if you can remember, we use I am when we are talking about one person, who is yourself, I. We always say he is when we are talking about a boy or a man, again, one person. We always say she is when we are talking about a girl or a woman. And it's just one person we are talking about here. And we use it is again when we are talking about one animal or one thing. Always say you are. And we have learned that we always say we are. We usually say we are. Are when we are talking about more than one person which would also include yourself we in today's lesson we are going to talk about a new rule they are and we always say they are so let us look at some sentences that have this rule. They are. So read with me boys and girls. They are boys. They are boys. As you can see, we are talking about more than one boy. There are two boys there. Whenever we are talking about more than one person, we use the word they. They are boys. Now let's look at another sentence. Read with me. They are girls. They are girls. And here we see a group of girls. So we definitely know it's more than one person we are talking about here. So we use they. They are girls. Here is another simple sentence that you can read with me. They are in the bus. They are in the bus. And here we see several persons all sitting in a bus. So because there are more than one persons here, we use they are. And we always say they are. Here is another sentence. Please read with me. They are at the beach. They are at the beach. And here we see three persons on the beach. Therefore, we always say, they are when we are talking about more than one person. Read with me once again. They are happy. They are happy. So we see here a happy family. And again, more than one person. So we always say they are when we are talking about more than one person. 
Read this sentence with me. They are helping. Helping. They are helping. And we see a couple of children helping, probably their teacher. And we know it's several persons, more than one person. So we say they are. They are helping. Read our last sentence. They are resting. Let's read it again. They are resting. And we see two persons here. Again, more than one. And we say they are. Very good, boys and girls.